हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो ऑफ योर चैनल लर्न इट सो टुडे विल बी मूविंग ऑन टॉपिक टू ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन व्हिच इज द यूनिट ऑफ अवर क्लास इलेवेंथ इन द फर्स्ट टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिस्टम ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन हाउ डज दिस बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन वर्क एंड वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन वी हैव ऑल्सो क्लासिफाइड द किंगडम्स इन टू थ्री एंड फाइव काइंड ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन so what we are talking is about the five kingdom classification which has been given by rh witaker and we have already discussed the first one which is the monera so now we'll be talking about the protista now protista includes chrysophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans so some of the important points for this protista has been given there they basically all are unicellular and lives in a colonial state or are colonial eukaryotes most of them are aquatic and forming the planktons which means they lives inside the water and they are the basic source of food for many of the aquatic animals means water living animals the next is what is the kind of nutrition is they basically are photosynthetic some are saprophytic some are parasitic or holozoic you already know that the photosynthetic means the organism which prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis second is saprophytic which depends on other in the form of dead or decaying the next is the parasitic in which they live on a host which means they depend on another organisms or plants and the last is the holozoic these are the four kinds of mode of nutrition in protista the next is flagella now what flagella is there is a diagram in which it is written kingdom protista it is a diagram in which there is a tail this this tail is known as flagella so if flagella is present 11 stranded with 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules composed of tubules are there next is if the genetic material consists of two or more dna molecules now let's move forward and talk about something more about the protista they also include diatoms and golden algae which is also known as desmids which are found in only fresh water and in marine water as well they basically are unicellular motile means they can move from one place to another biflagellate biflagellate means they have two flagella and they are photosynthetic which means they prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis their predominant color is golden brown basically their color is golden brown but yellow green red and even blue also exist means they are also present in different varieties of color the next is some dinoflagellates like gymnodinium and gonalux grows in large number in seas and make the water look like red that's why it is also called as or they are also called as red tide next is they have two flagella one short and always one long and that's why it is called as biflagellated last is they are photosynthetic in presence of sunlight and act as predator in absence of sunlight which means they have two faces which means when the sunlight is there they are known as photosynthetic and if sunlight is not present they also work as a predator for example there are two euglena and peranema or the subtopic of protist which is the slime molds now what is the slime molds and what are its types are they are basically saprophytic protist and feed on only decaying twigs and leaves the second is under favorable condition they forms an aggregation called as plasmodium which produces fruitful bodies bearing spores they are responsible for the diseases in vegetables these kind of small slime molds are responsible for diseases in many vegetables or the plants the next is the the cell wall of this slime mold contains cellulose next is the spores which they spread are being dispersed with the help of air currents some of the examples are physarum and fuligo 
now let us talk about protozoans a different type of protist now all protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasite on others which means they take food from some of the other organisms or plants next is they are considered very primitive and very primitive relatives of the animals it has amoeboid structure which move and capture food with the help of pseudopodia which is a special speciality of amoeba to take nutrition in this protozoan some also are of parasitic conditions many of them contains flagellated protozoans or flagella which helps them in free living or parasitic form to move from one place to another next is ciliated protozoans are aquatic which means they live in water and have cilia all over the body they are the finger like projections all over the body for the movement of the protozoan from one place to another the last is sporozoans includes organisms that have infectious spores like stages which means these kind of protozoan shows infectious stages in the life cycle let us take the next kingdom which is the kingdom fungi now what are they they are basically a chlorophyllous which means they does not contain any kind of chlorophyll which means they are not photosynthetic in nature second is heterotopic which means they depend on other organism for their food they are also in spore forming method and they are also called as eukaryotic organism with non vascular structure which means they does not contain any vascular structures the second speciality of this kingdom is it contains cell wall which is made up of chitin or fungal cellulose this is the speciality of fungi next is the reserved kind of food material in fungi is known as glycogen the when we are talking about the mode of nutrition it has three type of mode of nutrition one is saprophytic which means they depend on other organism which means also they are dependent on dead and decaying organism second is they are parasitic which means they live on or inside other bodies and last is symbiotic which means they are in a relationship with another organism in which one is benefited or both are benefited and one is harmed or both are harmed next is when we are talking about reproduction this can be vegetative and it includes fragmentation fission or budding these are the kinds of reproduction in such kind of fungi which means yeast do reproduction with the help of budding hydra do reproduction with the help of fragmentation the next is if a sexual mode of reproduction is there there are basically of three kinds which is conidia sporogen spores sporangia spores next is or zoo spores these are the three kinds and when they are doing with the help of sexual reproduction they do it by oospores ascospores and basidospores when we are talking about the sexual cycle involving these kind of steps it has it is divided into three types first is plasmogamy which means the fusion of the male and the female gametes are known as plasmogamy what is the definition of karyogamy it is basically the fusion of two nuclei and what is meiosis is zygote to produce haploid spores which means single kind of spores these are the sexual cycles which takes place first is plasmogamy happens then karyogamy happens and the last is in the meiosis happens and the haploid spores has been developed now the fungi has been divided into four parts the first part is known as phycomycetes now what does the phycomycetes means they are found in aquatic habitat which means they live in water and on decaying woods which means the wood which has been inside water or is in damp zone or moist zone they feed on such kind of things and live on that the second is mycelium is accept and cytic. next is a sexual reproduction is by zoospores they are motile or aplanospore which are non motile which means asexual reproduction there are by two types which is by zoospore or by aplanospores last example we can say is mucus rhizopus albugo etc are some of the examples of phycomycetes now let us move to the second topic of the fungi which is ascomycetes which are also known as the sac fungi 
दीज आर सेप्रोफाइटिक डी कंपोजर्स पैरासिटिक और कोप्रोफिलस विच मीन्स दे ग्रो ऑन द डंग नाउ वॉट इज सेप्रोफाइटिक डी कंपोजर्स पैरासाइटिक यू ऑलरेडी नो द सेकेंड इज सेक्शुअल स्पोर्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एस्को स्पोर्स विच आर प्रोड्यूज इन साइड द फ्रूटफुल बॉडी कॉल्ड एज एस्को कार्प्स इन सम ऑफ द एस्को माइसीड्स वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एग्जाम्पल्स देर आर different kinds of example the first is neurospora the second is aspergillus and third is claviceps let us take the next topic which is the basidomycetes which are also known as the club fungi these are branched and has the septate which means had a structure the next is it only does vegetative kind of reproduction with the help of process known as fragmentation Asexual spores are not found in these kind of basidomycetes, and sexual reproduction is by two vegetative or somatic cell forming basidium. Basidospores are produced in basidium by developing a fruiting body called as basidocarps. That's why basidospores are produced in basidocarps. You can understand it like this. Last example is agaricus. Ustilago and Pusinia are some of the examples of basidomycetes. Next topic of this chapter will be the deuteromycetes, which is the fourth part or the fourth type of fungi. This is also known as the fungi with imperfect. So it only has vegetative and asexual phase, which are known till now. Now they also live as saprophytes. or as a parasite inside the body of an organisms some of the example are fusarium alternaria trichoderma etc this last slide contains some of the types of the fungi like phycomycetes ascomycetes basidomycetes deuteromycetes which are also known as lower fungi sac fungi club fungi and fungi imperfecting and they are also containing some of the examples of each which means phycomycetes have some of the five examples ascomycetes also and so on that's it for today's video i hope you have understood the topics very well but for more understanding i, I urge all of you to repeat this video again for clearer understanding if you like the video and its content give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment your name in the comment section if you are unable to understand or is struggling in any of the topic please write the topic in the comment section i'll sure surely try to get to you soon so for more of such videos stay tuned to the channel stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to learn it